Spears is best known for her leading role in the hit Nickelodeon series, Zoe 101. But after becoming pregnant at the age of 16, everything changed. Well, now she's opening up about her pregnancy and what her life has been like out of the spotlight in the new documentary, Jamie Lynn Spears, When the Lights Go Out. Take a look. When I became pregnant, the world that I knew came crashing down. I look back now and I'm like, oh my gosh. I knew I had a lot of young girls who looked up to me and I felt that responsibility. But at the end of the day, I knew I had to make a decision as a young girl myself to do something that I knew I could sleep with every night. I knew deep down that I was gonna have my little girl even if I had to raise her on my own. And that's what I did. Jamie Lynn, good morning. Good morning. We haven't seen you in a while. And this is the first time we're really getting to see you talk about this time in your life that obviously was emotional and hard, but you got through it and you're on the other side of it. Why did you want to put this out on a documentary? Well, like you said, the world met me as a young girl. They met me as a little girl mm -hmm. on Zoe and Brittany's sister and all of those things. But after I had my little girl, I knew that I needed to take time away, not only to just figure out my life, figure out my future, what I was going to do for the rest of my life. So I went to Nashville, started writing music, and started really working on my craft, kind of like college, for what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. Really, um, you know, soaked myself in that community, and then I wanted to introduce myself to the world as the adult that I am. So I needed to bridge that gap, so I figured a one-hour documentary would kind of help bridge that gap of where I was to who I am now, introducing myself as a young woman for the very first time, instead of the little girl that the world met me as. You, you, become, you obviously you stepped away to raise your daughter. Uh, what's the thing that surprised you most about motherhood? Um, I think there's a lot of surprises, but mm -hmm. the biggest thing for me is the sense of purpose I have every day when I get up. You know, I feel no matter what it is, whether it's taking her to school or whether it's doing something like this today, there's just a different purpose and motivation behind what I'm doing that I guess at a young age you don't ever expect you were ever going to feel at such a young age. And your daughter is now, you just turned eight, you yes. were telling us she had a birthday this weekend. What is motherhood like for you now? How do you think it's changed you from that sort of superstar that you were now to now back to your music again? How have you grown? Well, I made sure though, when I took, you know, those eight years, although all that was out of the spotlight, I was working very hard, mm -hmm. really, you know, I was writing and I was, you know, I was living in Nashville and just really focusing on that. But I needed to grow, not only as a person, but as an artist to find my voice. So that way when I came out and did something, I really had something to say. Mm -hmm. And um, I think that really the biggest difference is I was, a, I was a baby and I needed to grow up. And I, I feel like I've done that and I feel secure with where I am now. So I feel ready to really tell my story for the first time. You know, your sister, Brittany, has grown up in the limelight. You have for, for a certain period of time. How are you going to protect Maddie from that same glare? You know, it's it's hard, but this industry has its goods and its bads, and I think you have to choose what you embrace, and I choose to embrace the good part of it. Mm -hmm. You can't protect people from anyone, but as a mother, of course, you know, the mama bear comes out in you, and you want to be extremely protective, but I've got to really just, you know, teach her to embrace the good part of it and understand the bad, but really just focus on the good. And when you're back to making music again, we look forward to hearing more from you. Jamie Lynn thank Spears, you. thank you so thank much you so this much. morning. And you can catch her documentary, Jamie Lynn Spears, When the Lights Go Out. It's on this Sunday on TLC.